Unsettling situation tonight on the Lower East Side of Manhattan. More than two dozen families evicted with very little notice from their homes. Evicted on a sub-freezing night from their building, which is badly in need of repair. Residents long pleading with the landlord to fix these problems. Now they've been kicked out. Here's Iowa News reporter Jim Dolan. We're going to let you in there soon. More than two dozen families evicted from their Bowery Street homes tonight. Small children out in the cold. This baby is six months old. Some were allowed to carry out what they could, but some were at work and never got inside. I have no clothes. I just get back from work. They don't let me go out and take my stuff. I went up to get some stuff. I brought down these three things, and then they said I can go back up to get the rest, and my grandma's still up there. The families were taken to a waiting MTA bus and told the Red Cross would pay for a hotel for two nights. They are all low-income families. What will you do after that? I don't that? know. They only say pay for two nights a hotel. Out of a hotel, they don't know. I got my pay for this. Residents claim the move today is the result of a years-long struggle by the owner to evict the tenants so the building can be raised or repaired and the rent hiked beyond the budgets of these tenants. He's been harassing them. He's been, he, after he bought the buildings in 2013, he, di he did not do any repairs in the building. After many, many calls to the landlord to do repairs, he refused to do any of them. He started to evict them. Sarah Ahn works with the tenants and she says the building the tenants were evicted from tonight is dangerous because the landlord hasn't repaired it. They don't have to leave the apartment for the landlord to do the repairs. It's possible for them to stay here in their homes while the landlord fixes it. We know. They want to take down the building. They want to build a hotel. They want to make a lot of money. The owner of the building, Joseph Batash, has been in an ongoing legal battle with residents. We were unable to reach him tonight. Tenants say they want the building fixed, but they felt safe here. It's never been unsafe. Like, no one's ever fallen through it or anything. It didn't matter. The police officer said everybody have to go out for the building. That's it. We mentioned the Red Cross would pay for hotel rooms for a couple of nights for the residents, but this all happened so late they didn't have time to find a hotel. So the residents are spending tonight in a middle school gymnasium. It's not clear if they'll be allowed back in the building to get the rest of their belongings. Lower Manhattan, Jim Dolan, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.